Hi, in this video, I am going to discuss about Survey Assistant and VRO previous question papers of Grammar Word Search Volume. Here is the first question of a Survey Assistant in Part B. And the question is, as per ISI, which of the following symbols denotes lake or pond? As per ISI, which of the following symbols denotes lake or pond? These are the four options which is given for this question and the option 2 represents lake or pond and the correct answer is option 2. In these options, option 2 symbol denotes lake or pond and the correct option is option 2. And the next two question, <coughs> expand HFL. What is the full form of HFL? Full form of HFL is high flood level. And the correct answer is high flood level. Option 1 is the correct option. And the next question. To measure an angle or to set off an angle, what type of scale is used? To measure or to set off an angle, what type of scale is measured? In these options, scale of chords is used to measure or to set off an angle. In these options, scale of chords is generally used for to measure or to set off an angle. And the correct option is option 4, scale of chords. And the next question, what is the formula used in chain survey to find the true length of line? What is the formula used in chain survey to measure true length of line? line and the formula which is used to find true length of line in chain survey is formula which is used to find true length of line in chain survey is true length small l is equals to measured length l dash into incorrect length of chain or tape divided by measured length or true length of chain or tape and the answer is True length small l is equals to measured length l dash into incorrect length of chain or tape capital L dash divided by true length of chain or tape capital L. So answer is small l is equals to l dash into capital L dash by L and the correct answer is option 1 is the correct option. And the next question groove along with the edge of a member is called groove along with the edge of a member is called as rebating and the correct option is option 4 is the correct option and the next question the total angle in a circle is general circle has 360 degrees total angle in a circle is 360 degrees and the correct option is option 4 is the correct answer and the next question, in the following, which symbol shows building? In the following, which symbol shows building? In this option, option 2 is the symbol which represents building sign. Option 2 is the correct answer for this question. And the next question, the common angle to draw inclined lettering is? The common angle to draw inclined lettering is? Inclined letters are single stroke letters which lean to the right making a slope of 75 degrees with the horizontal. Making a slope of 75 degrees with the horizontal and the correct answer is 60 to 75 degrees. Option 3 is the correct answer. And the next question. In a bond, a layer of continuous headers in elevation is called. In a bond, a layer of continuous headers in elevation is called heading bond. Option 2 is the correct answer, heading bond. And the next question, a double collar roof consists of how many collars? A double collar roof consists of two collars and the answer is option 2. Two collars is the correct answer. And the next question, which type of flooring is advisable for a dance dias? Which type of flooring is advisable for a dance dias? In these options, wooden flooring is advisable for a dance dias. Option 1 is the correct answer for this question. And the next question, ballast is a term related to... Two. Ballast is a term which is related to railway tracks. Railway tracks is the correct answer. Option 1 is the correct option for this question. Meters. 1.676 meters is the correct 
of a leveling instrument taking a first reading is called after setting of a leveling instrument taking of first reading is called back side is the reading which is taken immediately after setting of a leveling instrument so the correct answer is back side option 2 is the correct answer and the next question in a pitched roof the triangular portion of end wall is known as in a pitched roof the triangular portion of end wall is known as gable or gable end option 1 is the correct answer and the next question in a broad gauge the distance between two rails in india is in a broad gauge the distance between two rails in india is 1.676 meters 1.676 meters is the correct answer option 3 is the correct answer and the next question the stone which is placed in center of a arch is called the stone which is placed in center of a arch is called keystone is the stone which is placed at a center of a arch keystone is the correct answer option 3 is the correct option and the next question is the actual length of the object is 5 meters when the rf is 1 in 50 what is the length of the drawing the actual length of the object is 5 meters when the rf is 1 in 50 what is the length of the drawing in this question the given data is actual length of the object that is 5 meters and rf representative fraction that is 1 in 50 what to find out means length of the drawing we know representative fraction representative fraction rf is the ratio between length of drawing to the actual length of the object so rf is equals to length of drawing divided by length of object rf is 1 in 50 1 by 50 is equals to length of drawing what we find out that is represented by ld divided by actual length of object actual length of object is 5 meters ld by 5 so ld is equals to 5 by 50 that is equals to 1 by 10 meters that is equals to 10 cm so 10 cm is the correct answer option 3 is the correct option for this question and the next question the formula for depth of concrete bed in foundation below masonry footing is the formula for depth of concrete bed in foundation below masonry footing is the actual formula is small d is equals to small a into root of 3 cube by m small d is equals to small a into root of 3 cube by m in these options the correct answer is option 4 none of the above option 4 none of the above is the correct answer for this question and the next question the distance between skew back to riddle of the crown in arch is known as the distance between skew back to riddle of the crown in arch is known as the distance between skew back to riddle of the arch is known as hunch of an arch hunch of an arch is the correct answer and the next question calculate the number of portland cement bags for 0.05 cubic meters calculate the number of portland cement bags for 0.05 cubic meters in this question the given data is volume of cement that is 0.05 cubic meters we know density of cement we know density of cement density of cement is equals to 1440 kg per cubic meter 1440 kg per cubic meter what we find out means find out weight weight is equals to volume into density volume of cement that is 0.05 cubic meters into density 1440 that is equals to it gets 72 kg 
we know one bag of cement contains 50 kg of cement one bag of cement contains 50 kg of cement so number of bags is equals to 72 divided by 50 that is equals to 1.44 bags it is approximately equals to 1.5 bags so 1.5 bags is the correct answer option 4 is the correct option for this question Option 4 is the correct option for this question. And the next question is calculate the area of the figure. This is the ladder which is given to calculate the area. And the ladder starts from point A to B. From A to 2 meters length there is a offset called D distance 2 meters to right. And from A to 5 meters, there is another offset named as C. There is a distance 4 meters to right. And from A to B, the total distance is 10 meters. The total baseline length is 10 meters. So firstly, we draw a line diagram for this ladder. How to draw a line diagram for this ladder? We know this ladder starts from point A. From point A to 2 meters length there is a offset 2 meters to right it named as D and from 2 to 3 meters and from D to C there is a distance 3 meters and from 2 to 3 meters there is a offset another offset named as C and it is 4 meters to right and from end distance is 5 meters and, and next we join boundaries B, C, D, A. This looks like this diagram. From A to D, it likes a triangle. From D to C, it likes a trapezoid. And from B to C, it likes a triangle. And now, we find out a area of this figure. Firstly, we calculate area A is equals to, it starts from A. A to D, it likes a triangle. The area of triangle is half into base into height. Half into base is 2 meters into height 2 meters. Plus, from D to C, it likes a trapezoid. The area of trapezoid is 2 plus 4 divided by 2 into base 3 meters. Plus, from C to B, it likes a triangle. Half into base into height. Half into 4 into 5. That is equals to, it gets 2 plus 9 plus 10, that is equals to 21 square units. So, the answer is 21 square units and the correct option is option 4, 21 square units is the correct answer for this question. And the next question is, a 20 meter chain is used in a work and measured 1000 meters. It was found to be 1 decimeter too long. Find the true length. A 20 meter chain is used in a work and measured 1000 meters. It was found to be 1 decimeter too long. Find the true length. We know the formula to obtain true length. True length small l is equals to measure length l dash into incorrect length of chain or tape capital L dash divided by true length of chain capital L. So true length small l is equals to measure length. The measure length is 1000 meters. 1000 into incorrect length of chain or tape. Incorrect length is the chain is 20 meters chain and the error is 1 decimeter. It is too long. That means 20 plus too long means it is plus 1 decimeter 0 0.1 meters divided by true length of chain is 20 meters divided by 20. It gets 1000 into 20 plus 0 0.1 by 20. The answer is 1005. And the correct answer is 1005 meters. Option 4 is the correct answer for this question. And the next question, which statement is correct and the following options is option 1 two contour lines of different elevations can cross 
each other. Generally, contour lines of different elevations cannot cross each other except overhanging cliffs or a cave. So, option 1 is the incorrect statement. And the option 2 is contour lines close together indicate flat surface. Generally, contour lines close together indicates steep slope ground. It indicates a steep slope ground, not a flat surface. Option 2 is also incorrect statement. And the option 3 is a closer contour line with one or more higher ones inside it represents a hill. Closer contour lines with increasing values towards center represents a hill. And the option 3 is the correct statement. So, the question is which statement is correct? Option 3 is the correct option for this question. And the next question, what does this diagram represents? What does this diagram represents? This diagram represents a concentric closure contours with decreasing values towards center. It represents a contours with decreasing values towards center. Center. It means a depression without an outlet. It means a depression without an outlet. So, option 3 is the correct answer for this question. And the next question is, which statement is correct? Which statement is correct? In these statements, reduce level plus backside is equal to height of instrument. Option 3 is the correct. So, option 3 is the correct option for this question. And the next question, whole circle bearing can also called as, whole circle bearing can also called as azimuthal system or azimuthal bearing. Option 1 is the correct answer. And the next question, which of the following is correct? Which of the following is correct? And the following options are, option 1, foundation is the lowest part of the structure which acts as a medium between superimposed load to subsoil. Foundation is the lowest part of the structure which acts as a medium between superimposed load to subsoil. So, option 1 is the correct. And the second option, stair head should not be lower than 2 meters. Stair head should not be lower than 2 meters. Option 2 is also correct answer. And the option 3, lintels are horizontal members provided on the top of openings. Lintels are horizontal members provided on the top of openings. Option 3 is also correct statement. So, which of the following is correct? All of the above is also correct. So, option 3, all of the above is correct answer for this question. Option 3, all of the above is correct answer for this question. And the next question, the following continuous thin with zigzags, the following continuous thin with zigzags straight line indicates which general application? It indicates a long break line. It indicates a long break line. So, option 1 is the correct answer. And the next question, identify the correct figure in dimensioning. Identify the correct figure in dimensioning. In these options, option 1 is the correct figure to represent dimensioning. Option 1 is the correct figure to represent dimensioning. And the next question, RF. The next question is define RF. RF is the representative fraction and it is the ratio of length of drawing to the actual length of the object. RF representative fraction is the ratio of length of the drawing to the actual length of the object. And the correct answer is option 3 is the correct op option for this question. And the next question is, a point is situated above HP and in front of VP, it comes in. A point is situated above horizontal plane and in front of vertical plane and in front of vertical plane. This point is situated in first coordinate. So, first coordinate option 1 is the correct answer. 
and the next question 12 equal and regular pentagons as spaces will be called as 12 equal and regular pentagons as spaces will be called as dodecahedron option 2 is the correct answer and the next question a plate is having thickness t find the rivet diameter with the empirical formula a plate is having thickness t find the rivet diameter with the empirical formula and the rivet diameter d is equals to 6 root t is the formula d is equals to 6 root t so option 1 is the correct answer and the next question when the distance between the two stations is so large that they are not clearly intervisible which of the following ranging is advisable and the question is when the distance between the two stations is so large that they are not clearly intervisible which of the following ranging is advisable generally indirect ranging is advisable where the distance between the two stations is too large and that they are not clearly intervisible so the answer is indirect ranging option 2 is the correct answer and the next question the fixed reference point of non reduced level the fixed reference point of non reduced level is called benchmark fixed reference point is called benchmark with the non reduced level and the next question which are used to connect the rails at their ends which are used to connect the rails at their ends in these options fish plates are used to connect the rails at ends so fish plates option 4 is the correct answer and the next question total depth of water required by a crop during the entire crop period is known as delta delta is the total depth of water required by a crop during the entire crop period so delta option 4 is the correct answer and the next question the cross drainage work where drain passes over the canal cross drainage work where drain passes over the canal is called super passage so super passage is the correct answer option 3 is the correct one and the next question how many parts of fine aggregate are used in concrete how many parts of fine aggregate are used in concrete and the proportion is 1 is to 1 and 1/2 is to 3 1 is 1 and 1/2 is to 3 if this is the proportion 1 is the cement 1.5 is the fine aggregate 3 is the coarse aggregate so the question is how many parts of fine aggregate fine aggregate is 1.5 parts fine aggregate is 1.5 five parts so option 2 1.5 is the correct answer and the next question is a structure constructed at the supply of water into the canal is called a structure constructed at the supply of water into the canal is called head regulator head regulator is the structure which is constructed at the supply of water into the canal so option 3 head regulator is the correct answer the internal curve of an arch is the internal curve of an arch is called as intradose so intradose is the correct answer for this question and the next question dash is called slope in coping weathering is called slope in coping so weathering is the correct answer dash is called slope in coping means weathering is called slope in coping and the next question the total usable covered area of a building is called as the total usable covered area of a building is called as floor area floor area is the total usable covered area of a building so floor area option 2 is the correct answer and the next question the following conventional sign indicates the following conventional sign indicates this is the sign it indicates a indian type water closet this is the sign it indicates indian type water closet so option 1 is the correct answer and the next question the conventional symbol of the figure indicates 
This is the conventional figure. This is used to indicate a bed wire. This conventional symbol is used to indicate a bed wire. So option 4 is the correct option for this question. And the next question, the length of Gunter's chain is, the length of Gunter's chain is 66 feet. So, the length of Gunter's chain is 66 feet is the correct answer. Option 2 is the correct answer. And the next question, the conventional symbol of the following figure indicates in survey. The conventional symbol of the following figure indicates in survey. In survey, this conventional symbol used to indicate direction of north. In survey, this conventional symbol used to indicate say north. So, option 3, north is the correct answer. And the next question, the following conventional sign indicates. This is a conventional sign. It indicates a unmetalled road. So, unmetalled road. Option 1 is the correct answer. And the next question, scale of cord. Scale of cord is used to measure. Scale of cord is generally used to measure angles. Scale of cord is generally used to measure angles. So, angle option 1 is the correct answer. And the next question, tripod stand in leveling will have tripod stand in leveling will have how many legs tripod stand in leveling will have three legs tripod stand have a three legs and the next question the depth of footing below ground level calculated by the rankings formula which is the depth of footing below ground level which is calculated by the Rankine's formula and the formula is H is equals to P by W into 1 minus sin theta by 1 plus sin theta whole square. And the formula is H is equals to P by W 1 minus sin theta by 1 plus sin theta whole square. So option 3 is the correct answer. And the next question, LED is an instrument which is used in dash type of survey. LED is an instrument which is used in plane table survey. LED is an instrument which is used in plane table survey. So, option 3, plane table survey is the correct answer. And the next question, what type of flooring can you suggest for workshops? What type of flooring can you suggest for workshops? Generally, cement concrete flooring suggest for workshops. So, cement concrete flooring is generally suggest for workshops. So, option 3 is the correct option. And the next question, the main reinforcement for lintels in RCC lintels should be the main reinforcement for lintels in RCC lintels should be at the bottom. It should be at the bottom. Main reinforcement in RCC lintels should be at the bottom. So, option 1 is the correct answer. And the next question, to receive the door shutter, the outer edge of frame is provided to. To receive the door shutter, the outer edge of frame is provided to rebate. To receive the door shutter, the outer edge of frame is provided to rebate. And the next question, weight of 10 mm diameter bar is dash kg per meter. Weight of 10 mm diameter bar is dash in kg per meter. Here given values is diameter of bar that is 10 mm. What to calculate means weight of this bar. So, how to calculate weight of steel bar? We have a formula to calculate weight of steel bar. Weight W is equals to D square by 162.2 into L. Here D is the diameter of bar that is 10 mm and L is the length of bar. Here length of bar is 1. So, that is equals to d square that means 10 square by 162.2 into length 1 meter into 1 that is equals to 0.616 that is equals to it is approximately equals to 0.62 kg per meter so 0.62 is the correct answer option 3 is the correct option for this question 
and the next question the scale on which three dimensions can be measured is called the scale on which three dimensions can be measured is called diagonal scale is the scale in which three dimensions can be measured so diagonal scale is the correct answer for this question and the next question the stone masonry made of properly dressed is called as the stone masonry made of properly dressed is called as ashlar masonry so ashlar masonry is the correct answer and the next question the term cleat is used in the term cleat which is used in pitched roofs the term cleat is used in pitched roofs so option 4 is the correct answer and the next question a canal designed to irrigate throughout the year is called a canal designed throughout to irrigate throughout the year is called perennial canal perennial canal is a canal which is designed to irrigate throughout the year so option 4 perennial canal is the correct answer for this question and the next question is the outermost support of an arch from which the arch springs the outermost support of an arch from which the arch springs here abutment is the outermost support of an arch so abutment option 2 is the correct answer and the next question the combination of thread and rise is called the combination of thread and rise is called a step so step is the correct answer option 2 is the correct option and the next question the interior portion of a wall between the facing and backing is known as the interior portion of a wall between the facing and backing is known as hutting hutting is the interior portion of a wall between the facing and backing so option 4 hutting is the correct answer and the next question for modern public buildings the type of stairs preferred is for modern public buildings the type of stairs preferred is bifurcated stairs generally bifurcated stairs is used in modern public buildings so option 2 bifurcated stairs is the correct answer and the next question dash type of traps are used to disconnect the sluice drain from the main drainage system dash type of traps are used to disconnect the sluice drain from the main drainage system gully trap so option 1 gully trap is the correct answer and the next question the minimum dimension that can be measured in diagonal scale is the minimum dimension that can be measured in diagonal scale is and the minimum dimension is 1 by 10 mm that is 0.1 mm so 0.1 mm is the correct answer and the next question the total of internal angles of hexagon will be the total of internal angles of hexagon will be here we have a formula to find sum of internal angles and the formula is 2n minus 4 into 90 degrees here n is represent number of sides hexagon has a six sides so n is equals to 6 that is equals to 2 into 6 minus 4 into 90 it gets 720 degrees so answer is 720 degrees option 3 is the correct answer and the next question the minimum thickness of rcc slab recommends by is 456 is the minimum thickness of rcc slab recommended by is 456 is and the minimum thickness of rcc slab as per is 456 is 125 mm so in these options none of the above is the correct answer <coughs> and the next question and the next question dash instrument is used to measure the line of sight in survey dash instrument is used to measure the line of sight in surveying in these options leveling and theolite these two instruments are used to measure line of sight in surveying so the correct options is option 1 and option 3 leveling and theolite these both are correct answers for this question
and the next question the area of the triangle is and the next question the area of the triangle is we have a formula to find out the area of a triangle that is equals to half into base into height so half into base that is 8 cm 8 into height is 5 it gets a 20 20 square centimeters is the correct answer for this question so option 4 is the correct option for this question And the next question, water cement ratio is determined by conducting. Water cement ratio is determined by conducting slump test. So, slump test is the correct answer. Option 3 is the correct option for this question. And the next question, the degree of grinding of cement is called. The degree of grinding of cement is called. Fineness is the degree of grinding of cement. So, fineness is the correct answer. Option 3 is the correct answer. And the next question. For water retaining structures, dash grade of concrete is recommended. For water retaining structures, dash grade of concrete is recommended. M20 is the grade of concrete which is generally recommended for water retaining structures. So, M20 is the correct answer. And the next question, the obstacle which obstructs chaining but not vision. The obstacle which obstructs chaining but not vision is. Pond is the obstacle which obstructs chaining but not vision. So, pond is the correct answer. Option 2 is the correct option. And the next question, the trimmed size of A2 drawing paper is. The trimmed size of A2 drawing paper is. The A2 drawing paper size is 420 mm by 594 mm. So, option 1 is the correct answer. The trimmed size of A2 drawing paper is 420 mm by 594 mm. And the next question, which sand is used for masonry work? Which sand is used for masonry work? River sand is generally used for a masonry works. So, river sand is the correct answer. And the next question. Which foundation is formed of thick reinforced concrete slab covering the whole area of the bottom of the building? And the question which foundation is formed of thick reinforced concrete slab covering the whole area of the bottom of the building? And that foundation is raft foundation. So, raft foundation. Option 4 is the correct answer for this question. And the next question. What is the expansion of DPC? What is the full form of DPC? And the full form of DPC is damp proof coats. Here option 3, damp proof course is the correct answer. So option 3 is the correct option for this question. And the next question, scaffolding is a dash type of structure for the building. Scaffolding is a temporary structure for the building. So temporary is the correct answer. Scaffolding is temporary structure for the building. And the next question, a series of steps without any platform break or landing in their direction is called a series of steps without any platform break or landing in their direction is called it is called a straight flight it is called a straight flight so option one straight flight is the correct answer for this question and the next question is in 30 meter chain, the length of one link is equal to. In 30 meter chain, the length of one link is equal to 20 centimeters. So 20 centimeters is the correct answer. And the next question, the height of the building can be measured with the dash instrument. The height of the building can be measured with the dash instrument. In these options, height of the building can be measured with the survey chain or dumpy level or theorite. So option 1, option 3 and option 4, these three options are correct for this question. So, option 1 is the correct answer, option 3 is the correct answer and option 4 is also the correct answer. So, the height of the building can be measured with the survey chain or dumpy level or theolite. 
and the next question one mile is equals to how many feet so one mile is equals to 5280 feet so one mile is equals to 5280 feet so option 3 is the correct answer and the next question divides are generally specified by divides are generally specified by its shank diameter divides are generally specified by its shank diameter so option 4 is the correct answer for this question and the next question the steel bars are denoted by their the steel bars are denoted by their diameters the steel bars are denoted by their diameters so diameter is the correct answer option 1 is the correct option and the next question find out the wrong option in the given band find out the wrong option in the given band this is the picture which is given in this number of headers are less when compared to number of stretches this number of stretches are more when compared to number of headers so first we check options option 1 huge stretches are used as correct in this picture huge stretches are used so option 1 is the correct answer next headers were limited headers were limited so headers are limited option 2 is also the correct option next option 3 both 1 and 2 so both 1 and 2 huge stretches are used correct headers were limited is also correct and the option 4 no closure is used but in this pictures closures are used but in this picture closures are used so no closure is used is wrong option and the question is find out the wrong option in the given band find out the wrong option in the given band in these options option 4 is the wrong option so option 4 is the correct answer for this question and the next question in this frame which number denotes strut in this frame which number denotes strut this line denotes strut so number 3 denotes strut so number 3 is the correct answer option 3 is the correct option for this question and the next question what type of joint is it what type of joint is it this is called table joint this is called table joint so option 2 is the correct answer and the next question manhole is also known as manhole is also known as a testing hole manhole is also known as a testing hole so testing hole is the correct answer and the next question what type of riveted joint is it what type of riveted joint is it this is single rivet single cover but joint this is called single riveted single cover but joint so option 3 is the correct option for this question and the next question is the term wing wall relates to the term wing walls relates to wing walls is the term which relates to irrigation structures so irrigation structures option 2 is the correct answer and the next question which symbol shows stream or canal in a survey drawing which symbol shows stream or canal in a survey drawing this is the symbol it represents stream or canal in a survey drawings so option 4 is the correct answer and the next question the plane on which the view is formed is considered as the plane on which the view is formed is considered as a opaque so opaque is the correct answer option 4 is the correct one and the next question identify the symbol of glass in civil engineering identify the symbol of glass in civil engineering in these options option 1 represents a glass symbol option 1 represents a symbol of glass and the next question the term frog is related to the term frog is related to the term frog is related to bricks the term frog is related to bricks so brick 4 is the correct option and the next question the thickness of a one brick wall is the thickness of a one brick wall is generally the thickness of one brick wall is 225 to 230 mm 
So in these options, none of the above is the correct answer. Option 4 is the correct option for this question. And the next question, which formula will satisfy the height of instrument method, HI method? Which formula will satisfy the height of instrument method? In these options, sum of backside minus sum of foresight is equals to last reduced level minus first RL. So, sum of backside minus sum of foresight readings is equals to last RL minus first RL. This is the correct answer. So, option 1 is the correct option. And the next question, at present, what type of sleepers are used in Indian railways? At present, what type of sleepers are used in Indian railways? In present, cement concrete sleepers are used in Indian railways. So, option 4 is the correct option for this question.